wanted to tell you, I found out some information this morning um, about iron deficiency and I wanted to share it with you. So I'm gonna, I've put the camera there, I hope you can hear me and see me and my head's not chopped off or anything. So basically, uh, I've got some notes as well. So I was in the shower earlier and the shower, the bathroom is a really good place to get inspiration and ideas but obviously I'm, I'm there and um, I can't write any of it down. And I've done this before, I've come up with really good ideas for videos. And then uh, I've got out the shower, I've put the camera on and my mind has got all mixed up. And uh, it was a right bambling uh, video. And this is really important, so I've written notes this time, which is why I'm sat like this. So, bear with me. Okay, it's Sunday. <sighs> I'm really chilled and uh, I'll try and focus and concentrate on important things. So the video that I saw this morning was by a lady called Dr. Barbara O'Neill and she is amazing. I want to say she's Australian, I'm not sure. Anyway, and it was uh, low on iron, if you can look it up. I really recommend you look this woman up, she is, she's got amazing information. And she was 13 years low in iron um, and she said, and then she solved the puzzle. And I'm going to tell you what she said in the video. Right, I've got the kids and Roy shouting in the background, so I try and do this right. Um, so basically, I didn't go to university, I went to that lovely University of Life, you know, that colourful place where shit happens and you learn from it. And if you're on the right path, information just comes to you, uh, the right information just comes to you. And this is what's been happening to me over the years. I haven't been the healthiest, um, I, I, as a teenager I wasn't eating properly and I've put my body through some stuff uh, over the years um, and I often wonder how I functioned. <laughs> and at one point a few years ago my body just went physically and this is, I, I'm figuring out why now and it's, it's amazing information. Um, so yeah, so we all know that cancer, well I don't know if you know, but cancer and these like big diseases, diseases in the body, they take 10 to 15 years to manifest and then we get the label of this, um, but, um, and I also saw some a little video of, of uh, um, a funeral directory person, the people that do the autopsies and everything, saying that a lot of people these days are dying of nutrient deficiencies. Now to me I'm connecting the dots and I'm thinking well you've got all of a sudden you've got cancer, you've got diabetes, you've got this, you've got that, Alzheimer's, all these different things. Um, well surely it's years of abuse uh, of not knowing about your body. Now it's not really our fault because we don't get taught it in schools. And Roy said this morning about my iron deficiency and, and things, how come the doctor didn't pick up on it? Well, again, we've become accustomed to thinking and believing that our doctors are like magicians and they have magic pills for everything and they know everything. Well, first of all, the modern day doctor, unless you live in Asia um, or Eastern, the East, um, our doctors aren't taught about nutrition, uh, which is what this is all about. Uh, I had to physically ask, and I've got a good doctor, she's lovely, but um, I had to physically ask her for a test which included all the deficiencies in my hormones and my nutrients. Unless we look at these, investigate these things ourselves, uh, you, you, you can't trust the doctors to know, to figure it out basically. It's not their job really, but we'd, we'd, we're tricked into thinking that um, there's a magic cure for everything. In actual fact, we're our own doctors and, and this is amazing and, and that's why I have to share this information. So anyway, so that's that. Um, uh, so these are some common symptoms of low iron and this is what I had. Fatigue, can't focus properly, crazy sore muscles, brittle nails, pale, really pale skin, pink, red urine, frequent infections, you can't exercise, and breathlessness. Now I had all of these things, um, and I was really low in iron for like quite a long time. I've, uh, the doctor tried to give me these uh, uh, vitamins, so I don't believe in pill popping all these off-the-shelf vitamins. 
I think in certain places it's really good, but uh, these massive 80 milligrams of iron they were trying to shove in my system was just made me feel like I was giving birth. Uh, um, I was in agony for days, and uh, so I, I, three days I took it and I stopped. And I thought, no, this isn't, I need to research this, this is, just isn't working. So I found a friend told me he got over his anemia from this liquid uh, from plants and it has other vitamins in it as well and that is and it's amazing how much it boosts your system how much better I feel and my periods were really heavy and she talks about this in what I'm going to say so um, during that time now obviously I've done damage to my body over a long period of time and it's going to take uh, a bit of time to, to get over that but that's okay with me I'm, I'm happy with that so this is the information that she she shared with us in her video so if you're low on iron you have heavy bleeding periods and she said there's a cream anise wild yam cream uh, so I'm going to look that up to, to, to apparently that'll help with that because I was clotting a lot it was bad um, and also people are low in hydrochloric acid the hydrochloric acid liberates the iron in the body it releases the iron in the body so this is the advice Basically, don't eat every couple of hours because it exhausts the digestive enzymes. Don't drink with meals. You should drink between meals. Don't overeat. Um, don't eat while stressed because that affects the digestive system. I always say thank you for, I'm so grateful for this meal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My friends think, uh, my, my family laugh at me thinking I'm nuts. But it's true. She says, take cayenne pepper with your meal and don't, uh, sorry, drink before each meal, drink very hot water with a bit of lemon in apparently because that aids, that helps. So apparently it says here that a lot of people are low on ferritin and ferritin is um, the iron stores and the body uses the protein to bind with iron to stir it as ferritin. Often people with low ferritin levels not eating enough protein. They're not. Uh, obviously, I'm just reading my notes. Go and find the the video because it she'll explain it a lot better. She's not shouting in a camera. She says eat lentils every day and nuts and seeds with your meal to boost your protein levels. Um, oh, there's so much. It is. Is you think it's difficult, but it, there's so much to learn once you start learning certain things it gets really easy there's a uh, doctor Andreas Moritz as well he has a lot of books that are that are amazing information but this woman is really knowledgeable also in my book here um, I, I wear glasses these days as well because my eyes are tired but I'll get that back and won't have to use those again I've got information on blood cleansing purifying the blood um, all the different things that can do that. Anti-parasitic food. I've been hearing a lot that most diseases are parasites um, that are causing those diseases. You can have food, homeopathic and natural remedies to get rid of parasites in your body. I've got um, things like powerful antibiotics, natural anti-inflammation juice. Most diseases are inflammatory diseases that your immune, your body is inflamed. Uh, and also I try to eat an alkaline uh, alkaline diet by there's a book I've got by Julie Cove uh, eat better live better and feel better that's amazing too because if our bodies are too acidic then um, that's going to cause diseases as well uh, so you know I really highly recommend you get a book and write notes you don't have to become a, a doctor in nutrition just find out how your body uh, works better because everybody's got different types of bodies and not everything works for one person um, and yeah uh, my book starts with I've called it my journey back to health <laughs> yeah so that's what I wanted to share with you today um, and I'm sure there's other things I wanted to say but um, I feel really excited and that I'm I'm getting my health back and I can do I can do like I do a bit of Tai Chi and stretching in the morning that really helps and on my social media I, I'm sharing you know lots of information I'm not 
myself um, and but I share what I find and what I feel but I feel really connected and um, at peace and I'm a hell of a lot better than I was uh, and it's amazing how simple things are yeah you think something's massively wrong with you and actually you're really deficient in in something so please I hope this video helps um, some people and uh, yeah have a good Sunday All right thank you for listening <laughs>